In this video, we're gonna continue with our main menu, but this time we're gonna layer up some images. I'm gonna show you how the node system works. So first, you're gonna to need to download some images from the Google Classroom. Now, I've already put these in the Google Classroom lesson two, um, so you can actually go ahead and download them. I've done them ahead of time, and there's just five placeholder images that we're gonna use. If you wanna use your own images, that's also fine. So now we've got them downloaded, we just need to make sure that when we drag and drop them, they go in the correct folder. So if you come over to Godot, and before you drag and drop anything into here, you need to make sure it's going to go into the right place. So at the moment, because res is selected, if I dragged and dropped those images, it would actually drop them into this folder. But I want them in this folder here. So if I just select the images folder, and then let's just select all five of these images, and then let's just drag and drop and because the images folder selected they will go into there okay and now they're in so now we've got the images in we can do we can put the images onto the canvas in two ways now i've shown this before but let me just go over it so the first way is we need to drop it here so i'm going to select the main menu and i'm going to press the plus button and then i'm going to type in sprite okay and this will bring up this sprite node. So we've done that before, and obviously you can get it from here as well. But there's actually a quicker way, especially when you're doing images. So what you can do instead, say for instance you want this one to be on the canvas, you can just drag and drop, and it will actually put him in there. And as long as you've got the main node selected, it will drop him into the correct place. Um, and once again, you can move him around. Now, if you want to scale him up, if you hold down the shift button and click on one of these corners, it will actually do it proportionately. If you didn't have the shift button pressed, you could actually just kind of make him all kinds of things. So hold down the shift button and it will actually, it will scale the image proportionately. So the next thing we need to do is just have a look at the node system and see how this works. So for instance, because we dragged him in using the main node, it went in the right place. But say for instance you hadn't done that, it could actually drop anywhere. And the good thing about this node system is you can actually move them around as much as you want. And you'll notice now, because the node is behind the background image, you can't see it. So if you want to see him again, you just move him forward. And you notice every time I move, there's this underline. And that means that it's going to be attached to this node here still. If you wanted it to be nested, so say for instance you wanted this one to be part of the background, you could move it, and you see that now there's a blue box all the way around it. You'll notice that it now nests inside of that. And if you want to unnest it, it's exactly the same thing. You can just move it to wherever you want. Okay, and that's going to be really useful to know because we're going to layer up a few more images. So for instance, let's do this tall mushroom. So let's click and let's scale him up holding shift. Now this mushroom I'm going to put on this side. And he's gone in the right place, which is good. So let's do the next one. And let's scale this one up holding shift. Now, say for instance you wanted the smaller brown mushroom in front, you could select the brown mushroom, and then what you could do is you could just move him in front. Now, at the moment they're nested, so let's just unnest this one. And there we go, now the brown mushroom's in front. Now let's just move him over a bit. So your next mission is just to add as many images as you want to this, just to create something nice for your menu system.